Hello there and welcome to another Dragon's Den reaction video. But first I want to say a, a special hello to all my new subscribers. I haven't got new subscribers in years. Well, not at this kind of quantity because I dared to have different political views to YouTube and, you know, <laughs> that's not allowed. So, you know, who needs democracy? But it would appear the Dragon's Den videos have uh, been whipping up some interest. So lovely to see you. I do stream live quite a lot as well, so maybe jump in a few of them. They're, they're a good laugh. Great community. Anyway, that weird little clip you just saw, that's all I've seen about this. This was recommended to me by someone in the comments of the last Dragon's Den video. And that clip you saw is from a video that's got something to do with this pitch so we'll watch the pitch and then we'll watch that whole it's only about a minute and a half video film trailer <laughs> at the end let's dive in right who have we got jonesy meaden Theo, Duncan, James Kahn. You can always age Dragon's Den by uh, Peter Jones. So this is about, I'm um, between 10 and 15 years old. Oh, a Mont Blanc pen. I bet they cost a packet. <laughs> they cost about six of those. Actually, probably about 20 of those for a decent one. Hello, my name is Denise Channing. I own Goblin Films Limited. Goblin films. Is that goblin? I'm assuming by the video clip is goblin as in little green men and not goblin as in gob goblin. <laughs> it sounded the same. Carry on. I've come here today to offer 15% of my company in exchange for 175,000 investment. Shit. <laughs> Hang on. The maths ain't great. 175 bags for 15. About 1.2 million. I mean, one, what, what, okay, uh, maybe, I, I don't know anything about it, but Goblin Films. In my first project, Dance of the Goblins. <laughs> Dance of the Goblins, which is what we just saw a bit of. Oh, it's, all, it's all falling into a goblin place now. Dance of the Goblins is a fantasy film based on the book by the same name. She's out of breath from walking up the stairs. I'm not getting at her for that, I'm just getting at her for that. Dance of the Goblins, look at it. Good Lord. By Jack D. Hawkins. This is my pen name. I own the rights to the book, to the script, to everything. <laughs> so? What, because you wrote it? <laughs> that doesn't add any value at all. It would lose value if someone else did, but you, 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 you have the rights to something you write automatically. The story is set in the future, five generations after a planetary pole shift has devastated the population of the planet. Who <laughs> gives a shit? Certainly not James Kahn. The descendants of survivors have built an almost medieval society on the rubble of what was once London. They are led by the magician Count Anton. Now, see, this is a thing with writers, especially fantasy writers, who are essentially writing for children. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> or adult children. I've just lost half my viewers there. Um, they think it's marvellous. Like, and, and you should as well. But just think it's marvellous. Tell people, tell people it's marvellous and amazing. But don't go into this level of detail. No one's going to think, no, I'm not investing in this. Oh, hang on a minute. An almost medieval society on the, on the wastelands of London. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Who is the only human who is friends with the goblins? As I was writing this story, it was coming at me in scenes so that I knew it had to be a film. <laughs> no, no creative logic there at all. As I wrote it, it was coming at me in scenes. I knew it had to be a film. Hmm. Yeah. This is where the money get. This is where the money's involved in it. The movie. Okay. She's not pitching a book. She's pitching a film of the book. Now, if the book had been successful, I doubt she'd need money for the film. Which begs the question: Why would you make? a movie of a book that has already failed. So when I finished the book, I tried my hand at screenwriting and that came to me quite naturally. So then I started looking into the film industry to see who does what initially with the idea of finding out who to sell it to. And one thing I learned is that 
what a producer does is effectively admin and organizing, two things I'm very good at. She's got, she's got it all sorted out. I don't think she needs anyone. She, everything comes naturally. She's great at it all. This is brilliant. All, all she lacks is any tangible success. So I decided to do it myself. I started networking, and things just sort of fell into place. <laughs> what, what a surprise. <laughs> I mean, there's a pattern forming here. So that now I have a fully equipped, experienced crew. I have a professional makeup and prosthetics team. And I even have a well-known actor attached to the script. Oh, so you've got professionals who said, yeah, they'll work on your film when you've got the budget. Yeah, anyone can do that. You ring up someone and say, will you work on my film? And they're like, yeah, when you can pay me. I can do all this on what is considered in film terms a very low budget, partly because of good planning. <laughs> 1.2 mil. My budget sheet reflects the actual cost of everything I need to make this film. I don't like working with estimates. <laughs> she's really unpleasant. Why? I mean, she's, she could be a great writer, she could be a lovely person, but she's not good at this. She's got this really inflate, over-inflated sense of her uh, abilities. And, and it's coming across really unpleasant. No one wants to invest in her because people do invest in people more so than they invest in projects and products and services. Because you could have the best product, the best project, the best, the best service, but if, you're, if you don't like someone, you're not, going to, you know, you're not going to risk money with that person. You're not even going to risk a night out of them. You're not even going to risk a drink with them at the airport. She should have delegated. Get someone who could have gone in there and explained this and been warm and, and exciting and not, I'm excellent, I'm brilliant, I'm, I'm, oh, that comes naturally to me. No. The story itself is just naturally given to being shot like a drama. It doesn't need a lot of special effects as you'd expect with fantasy. And this has actually become my company policy. Right, that's why you painted those people green <laughs> in, the, uh, in the trailer. Right, it's all coming together now. That came naturally. That all of my films will be focused on good story and good acting rather than excessive, expensive effects. The Goblin Circle has a good balance of dedicated... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. The boy Khan looks like he was having a kip there. Look. Expensive effects. <laughs> Wait. The Goblin Circle. <laughs> the Goblin. See, she's obsessed with this. It's become her. It's taken over her life. They don't care about Goblin Circles. They care about the bottom line. And she hasn't mentioned anything. If she had walked in there and said, I've written this book. It's grossed five million dollars, or maybe as maybe it's only grossed a million dollars, but it was a dollar a copy, so there's a million sales. You know, something to do with money, investments, profit. But no, this is just goblins and special effects, and everything comes naturally to her. And you know, this they might they may as well have overheard this at a bus stop for for the engagement in it they've got, which is nil. Has a good balance of dedicated professionals and talented amateurs, all of whom are devoted to seeing this project done, whatever it takes. This isn't I'm sure they are when they get paid. It's just my dream anymore. It's become the dream of many people who are involved. No, it hasn't. Um, what I'm looking for today, beyond financial investment, is someone who could enjoy being part of that circle to help us create the magic that will bring my goblin world to life. <laughs> Don't talk to adults about being, being part of that circle and becoming part of the magic. No, 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 no. I know you're part of the Harry Potter generation, but those successful people, those absolutely minted people you're standing in front of, not so much. I'm sure you'll have questions. Please fire away. Yeah, how many books you sold? I've got to interrupt this because Sony like it more than they want it on YouTube. Oh, come on, Ewan, can't you just tell us exactly what we just saw? Norwich-based author Denise Channing. Norwich? Good Lord. Well, based. Well, not based. <laughs> Dance of the Goblins, look at the cover! Look at the, she's, oh no, look at the details of the swords. Yeah, I've got, I've had an illustrator, he's well into it. Look, he's done these little drawings of the swords there. Dance of the Goblins. Jack, with a Q, 
D. Hawkins. Nice pen name. Jack D. You know, the comedian. <laughs> the really miserable comedian. Uh. Wants £175,000 investment to make her feature film, Dance of the Goblins. The Dragons know that backing films can be tax efficient for wealthy entrepreneurs, but will... I'm sorry, I'm, I've got to interrupt it just for the sake of getting past the uh, fair use, unfair use system. Will that sway them into helping Denise turn her fantasy into reality? No, none of them care. None of them, are, they, they want to just next, look at them. This is a next, <laughs> just, can we have the next pitch please? Reality. Hello, Denise. Hello. I'm Deborah. I'm struggling to give a shit. B before we move on to the film, you've got a book that's already out there. Is this actually, has it been published and is it actually selling? It is published. It was published uh, 1st of May 2005. Uh, it's had limited distribution because it's a small publisher, but it is. <laughs> no, no, no. Put it on Amazon, you've got global distribution. Put it on Ingram Spark, you've got global distribution and about, what, 60,000 bookshops? That, 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 none of this, I mean, maybe back then, okay. But that, no, it's got limited distribution because you couldn't sell it to booksellers. You know, that, that doesn't add up. It is in some of the major bookstores, especially here in London. Uh, How so many have sold? Um, the first run was 2,000. Those are either sold or placed in bookstores. I'm not sure. Ow, ow, ow. So 2,000 are either sold or placed in bookstores? You mean given away? So let's assume that's probably about 100 sold, 1,900 given away. Sorry, placed in bookstores. Not sure how many are on each side of that. Well, you should know that because it's quite important, but... I'm trying to get numbers from my publisher. What are you talking about? Just ask him. How many have you given away and how many have we sold? Uh, OK, what I'm, what I'm looking for here is, is a reason why we think the film might work and I'm not <laughs> going to find it in the book sales, am I? Not in the book sales, not no. Not in the book sales. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, Deborah, having seen a few seconds of the trailer, you ain't going to find it in that either. OK, so what makes you think of... <laughs> Jones is out. He's thinking about where he's going tonight for, for dinner. Work. Well, one is that I can get good production quality with the... No, what do you mean you can get pro good production quality? All, all, her entire pitch is, I'm good at things. I'm good at things. I've got no proof of that. In fact, my book shows you I've got proof that <laughs> quite the opposite. But I am good at things, so, you know, I'm good at things. The team that I have, my uh, director of photography has 18 years' experience in the business. So, yeah, most, most, most DPs have got experience. <laughs> That's why it's their job. Ridiculous. Uh, What's he, he done before? What would I recognise? What would I uh, know? We wouldn't necessarily recognise what he does, because he does... <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to find out why. Why won't you have heard what... Oh, excuse me. Well, I've just eaten, by the way, so there is the occasional hey, repeating coming up. We're about to find out why. Why, why do you reckon you haven't heard? A small distribution company or something? <laughs> why hasn't Deborah heard of any films of your 18 years experience director of photography? Let's find out. As, um, I don't know what features he's done. He hasn't told me that, but he has done features. He's done... Um... How do I know if he's good or not? Well, the best thing I can tell you is that he has 18 years' experience in the business. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Making, making back-alley porn films. Business. He would have bombed out if he hadn't... Um... No, not true at all. He could literally just be making gonzo porn. And he can. Still a DP. Been putting out good products. Oh, so it's much like you. So you're good and he's good. Because you said so. <laughs> yeah, Theo's kind of buying it, sure. It's not often the dragons are flawed by a response, and Denise seems oblivious. <laughs> it was either absolutely crack up or pull that face. Oblivious to their concerns. Now, can you imagine that book? I woke up a princess, a beautiful maiden. I looked in the mirror. Gorgeous, lithe, sensual. I took my sword from its sheath 
and the sun did once glint upon the blade and blinded the goblin lover who himself did creep from his coffin. Gross. Well done. Her, her fantasy existence. And Bannatine, who's had his own book... Uh, close up of watch. ...published, wanted to interrogate her more on the original publication. And the drawings of sword hilts. Well, Denise, <clears throat> you wrote this book. Yes. And someone published it in May 2005. And it sold less than 2,000 copies. Yes, the distribution hasn't been good. I... <laughs> no! <laughs> James Khan's either laughing at that comment or he's reading the book. Either way, it's brilliant. I'd say that was an absolute disaster. Wouldn't you? As book sales go, yes. As book... well, well, you are talking about book sales, so, you know... The film is a separate entity, though. Why, why is the book such a disaster? Because it's a new publisher who doesn't have the distribution channels What's and is trying to build up name? his business. He hmm? has two books on his catalogue. Yours? Sorry? He has two books on his catalogue. Yours? And one of his, yes. <laughs> now, that doesn't mean he's not a publisher. To be a publisher, you've just got to publish a book. But there's not a lot of evidence there. There's not a lot of proof there. You know, that, that's not a track record, is it? Well, in fact, it is, but a really bad one. <laughs> His own. <laughs> so this... ah! you, you know the pitch is over when they're just cracking up. They're, they're, you know, it's over. Once they're looking at each other and laughing at you, it's over. T, how many of his book has he sold? That I don't know. I don't have his figures. How do we know that the reason the book hasn't sold is because it's rubbish? <laughs> yeah, we do know that. <laughs> that woke Jonesy up. He wants to know the answer. Did you get any reviews? It's been book of the month on three of the fantasy Yahoo groups. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? GeoCities, Lycos. My gosh, that is that. I, I mean, you know, I'm a failed author, but I ain't trying to pitch a movie to the dragons. Good Lord. By the way, I am a failed author. Yeah. Link in the description. Get on there. You can do something about that. Novel coming out in November. Uh, it's Second novel. First novel. Yep. Cracking review. Sold 9,000. Fantasy what? Yahoo groups. Yeah, people who are interested in... <laughs> Look at him just ripping her. <laughs> when you say it like that, it is awful. Fantasy Yahoo groups. In, in fantasy fiction, join these Yahoo groups on the internet and... And there's five people on there. You, your publisher, his daughter and your two boyfriends. It's a thruple. Discuss various books. And mine's been Book of the Month on three of them. I mean, a lot of people have fed back to me that they want the sequel to this. Wow. I mean, let's go. This is shocking. I mean, it's just, you know, I like, I like people being creative. Well done. She's written a book, a good thing, an amazing thing. But you've got to be realistic and understand that as a writer, you're also an entrepreneur. And if you're not, you've got to delegate that out to someone. It's a competitive world. You don't just write books and then when it doesn't go very well, blame this, blame that, blame that. You know, that, no, that, that's on you. Denise is fighting back in a bid to quash the dragon's concerns. <laughs> like a goblin princess. But the I quite like the thought of a goblin princess. Steady. Superfetus wants to make sure that the fantasy writer is working in... Please read some of the book out. ...in the real world when it comes to her financials. What was it? She valued her company about 1.2 mil, I think, if my maths are anywhere near correct. You talked about £175,000. What's your budget for the film? The total budget is uh, sitting at one and a half million right now. Now, the first thing you're going to ask me is how that relates to 175. Well, a million of that is um, associate producer fee for the, my, my actor. He is worth it. Um, 175 is sort of the bare bones for getting no, through no, production. No, 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 no. You're going to give somebody a million pounds. That's deferred, yes. That's deferred. 
she's she's paying an act to a million what was the budget 1.3 did she say i can't even remember i've kind of zoned out of what she says <laughs> Yeah, some of these actors make quite a few million pounds. Oh, really? Oh, thanks for letting us know that. Not in your movies, though. <laughs> Not in... I can't, I can't even remember what it's called. Magic Goblin Circle? <laughs> I think I've seen that on Pornhub. This is someone who's been in, in recent blockbusters, who's who, on the West End is... right... No, 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 this is someone who said, you find me a million, I'll do it. The now. actor. Please say Mr X. <laughs> Please say Mr X. I don't have permission to use his name, unfortunately. What films is it? Well, what's the point of getting him on board? That's the reason you get a name on board, so you can tout it around investors. Can't, I can't tell you until I've got the money. Well, what's the point of having him? What's he done? Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, only believable pirate in the film. With a, oh, a, a movie with about 400 extras, so could be a complete unknown. Only believable pirate in the film. No, Johnny Depp, no. Captain Jack Sparrow wasn't. <laughs> uh, Phantom of the Opera, um, television, feature films, blockbusters. Who, who was in Phantom of the Opera? And in uh, and part, part is Oh, cross-referencing. Triangulation is occurring. Who'd have thought weaponised autism on the den? Caribbean. Caribbean. And, what else and he was there? a real pirate. If you say the name, I'm going to be in trouble. Did <laughs> so... It's not getting made anyway, love. Do you know how difficult that makes it? Yes, I do. For yeah. five to people to, to sit here and... Uh, and how pointless it makes it. Consider an investment and they've got no idea. It's a double whammy. Not only is Denise planning to give a million pounds to the leading man, she's not... I've got to interrupt it just because I have to. Um... <laughs> ...prepared to reveal the actor's identity. Oh, I've never seen you and talking over the dragons. This is a new mix. This is a strange edit. In the den. Well, we don't have to respect his wishes no, because no. he wants a million pounds. The patience of the dragons is running out. It's chaos in the den. Never seen that before. <laughs> I can't, can't believe he agreed to do this. It's weird when you think about the dragons. They've made their millions. Why do they do this? For investment purposes, for ego, for fame? It's an interesting question. I might look further into that in another response. I might put together some just clips of the dragons, actually, and we'll try and work out their motivations. I mean, Jonesy and Meaden have been on this since fucking Stone Age times. I'm just a little bit surprised that if your key actor really believed in this project, and you explained to him that you were coming here today to raise money to make this project a viable success, that why he wouldn't want to support you. Exactly, that's why you have a star name, that's why you have a celebrity. I do, I respect James Khan treating her with respect and making a sensible point without laughing at her. That's, you know, a nice thing to do, because inside he's thinking, go on, op it to help you achieve that. James, that's easy. He hasn't had his million pounds yet. Clearly. I, I think this is not a credible project. Um, you know, I, I'm amazed that you think that we can get inspired to invest in something when your key person doesn't have the confidence to... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. ...put his name to... Uh, uh, that and your book was given away on 1,999 times and sold one to you. ...project when you're raising money. So, for that reason, I'm out. Good. Denise, uh, can I just tell I'm you where I am? I mean, th 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 <laughs> they're rushing all to leave now. This whole thing has been based on things you can't say, and actually, you're feeling very uncomfortable at this moment. You damn well ought to be. Oh my good lord! <laughs> hey, and you damn well ought to be. Look at Meaden's face. Meaden hasn't got any children. She's got a lot of horses, though. Oh my God! She maintained it for so long. Situation of the empathetic. Oh my God! From she held it, she blinked it, and she remained it, retained it. Maiden, you're twisting my melon, madam. Aren't you? I don't actually. Oh, fuck it. We need the whole thing again. She even had a little nip at the end. What's going on here? Editing issue. Here we go. A little bit at this moment, you damn well ought to be. 
aren't you? I don't actually feel uncomfortable. <laughs> the, the, the demon head mistress. Well, well because you I look like you're story. feeling uncomfortable. And you... uh, yeah, that's not quite the same though, Meaden, but you know, crack on. You ought to be feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> you ought to be. Well, you should be. I want you to be. Because you cannot sit in front of five investors. Stand. And not tell them half, the, most of the story. I'm afraid you've completely lost credibility as far as I'm concerned. And if you think you're going to get an investment from me, you are living in fantasy land. So I'm afraid you can hear where I'm going. I'm out. Oh, that seems really disproportionately angry. Maybe she really doesn't like goblins or something. <laughs> Two dragons out. The chance of investment is evaporating fast for Denise and her goblins. <laughs> <laughs> like they're our friends. Denise, you need to go home. <laughs> oh God, I'm nearly choking here. You need to go home. That's what you say to like a mental person on the street when they come up to you and go, Do you know da -da, da -da, <laughs> You need to go home. Oh, go French garage. <laughs> you need to go home. Go to your bedroom. Turn out the lights. <laughs> get under the quilt. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing what an absolute assault good gosh where's it gonna go now tie a noose get some paracetamol and get some sleep <laughs> <laughs> you've got to give it to him this has been absolutely savage and rightly so, Goblin Magic Circle. When you wake up in the morning, if you really think this is a really good idea, may I suggest that you turn the lights back off again and go back to sleep. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Oh my gosh. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. She took it as well. Good Lord. Good Lord. This is not a goer. <laughs> For those reasons, I'm out. <laughs> I can't believe he's keeping a straight face. He knows that was cracking entertainment. He knows it. Good, great lines. Oh, Lord. Well, I think this whole thing's fiction. I don't think I'm really here. <laughs> this is a whole fantasy. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> oh, she, she, she took it from old Theo, but Duncan and his Scottish working class accent, not so much. Uh, that, that's the look of goblin hatred there. It's all but over for Denise. Oh, I'm sure Jones is going to put his hand straight in his pocket. Here we go. He's got some stiff competition here, so let's see what he can do. Peter Jones has been unusually quiet up until now. Oh, you and you say it every show. He's always he's always quiet, which makes it not unusual. If you were to say Peter Jones has been usually quiet, you know, it'd make a bit more sense. It's left to him to have the final word. Which he's been preparing for the last five minutes. This better be good, Pedro. It's be out of my video too. Oh, they're building up to it. We got Peter. <laughs> he was just blanking her. <laughs> this is the first time it's ever happened to me. I'm speechless. <laughs> Didn't even want to give her words. Just didn't want to, yeah, he'd he give the least effort possible, mind it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for your time. Oh, really? Shocking. So, now let's have a look at the the full trailer for the movie. And, and well, we'll see. I'll, I'll see if I can get some more information. I'll find out what order we'll look at it in. All right, hang on.
Well, first things first, under the trailer for a movie, the Goblin movie, you get a 404 error. <laughs> File or directory not found. So there's that. It's looking good. Um, it, it has an IMBD. Full cast and crew, Dance of the Goblins. Directed by Denise Channing as Jack Hawkins. That's a pen name. Cast, Greg Draven as Kajak. Robert Goodman as Paul, Rachel McNally as Lolari, Cherry as Danny, Wendy Lafay as Onikimi, and Graham Sands as Count Victor. Produced by Denise Channings, Nathan Richard, and Greenway. Music by Dam Thy Bard, cinematography by Benjamin Narzu, and uh, costume and wardrobe by Henrietta Darcy. Nothing else about it. Nothing. So let's have a look at the trailer. Uh, before we have a look at the trailer, I, did, I, I thought it was only fair to go to Goodreads. Goodreads is a, is, it's a fair barometer of how well a book has sold and how well it's been read and gone down. And um, it's got 3.72 out of 5, but it's only got 32 reviews. And only about... I think something like 3% of people actually... Um, no, I think some, so it's between 3 and 7% of people who buy books review them. So I think it's probably sold a few hundred books. And, that, and the book was released in 2008. So in 14 years, it sold just over 200. Let's enjoy the trailer. Right, you've heard enough from me. I'm just going to play the trailer and let you decide. Ta-da! can't marry her. She isn't human. Not in the least bit shit at all. <laughs> Ta da!